Hey, how's it going, guys? Um, today we're, I'm going to be showing you how to make a um, just a basic Android application uh, for mobile phones. Uh, it'll basically just allow you to um, put in text and it'll say it for you after the press of a button. Um, it's very easy. We're going to use a program, uh, a web-based program called App Inventor. Um, so I'll put the link in the description for it, or you could just read it off the screen. So it's ai2.appinventor.mit.edu, and it'll have you sign in, um, or whatever. It'll have you select a Gmail account or a Google account, um, and it'll bring you to this page. And uh, you just want to click Start New Project, and I'm just going to name it YT. Um, click OK, and it should bring you to this. Um, now, basically, this what you see in the middle here is uh, the like the, the what you're gonna see on the screen of the phone so this is like just a blank screen and then the title here says screen one so if we wanted to add a button we would put a button in here um, but we don't want a button right now so we're just gonna delete that um, and then if we go into here this is the block editor so um, these blocks, I'll show you what these do when we get into it, but um, basically that's just the, kind of the code, and it makes it easier to make an Android application, uh, other than writing out all the code, like in Unity or whatever. Um, so we'll start off uh, by going over here to under uh, user interface, and we want to put text box. Just click and drag that over, and then we want to make sure that's selected, and go over to the right hand side over here, scroll down until we see width and we want to say fill parent so what that's going to do is just going to take up the whole screen or not the whole screen just the the width um, and then we want a button here and we want this to say we want to go down to text here and we want to save this or we want it for, to say um, say text alright and then we want to select just click anywhere on the blank part and then go down to here title and we want to change that to um, text to speech okay and then we want to go to um, what is it media yeah under the media we want to go uh, just drag this over into the white space and it's a non-visible component meaning you can't see it but it's a component that you can use you can use uh, using the user interface um, so if we click over here, we can see, um, we can just see the properties. We're not going to change anything, but um, the last thing we're going to do here is just change the screen. We're going to change it to, um, uh, we want to align horizontal to center, so that'll just center the button. And then if you wanted to, you can change the text size of this to, let's say, 20, and... Um, the shape, maybe you wanted it rounded, so that'll just give it a nice rounded color uh, shape to it. And maybe we want it to be, I don't know, orange. Oop, I didn't have that selected. Oops, sorry. Um, select the button and do the background color as, I don't know, whatever you want. And then we want to go over to Blocks Editor, so that's up over here. And then we want to click on uh, the button 1, and then this says button1.click, so we're just going to click and hold and drag it out here. And then we want to go text-to-speech 1, and we want to do um, call text-to-speech.speak, and then the message, we want to click textbox 1, and then we want to scroll down until we find textbox1.text. Make sure you do not do this set. We want to do textbox1.text, .text, and we just want to put that into the, the message there. Okay, and then, um, that's all the code we need. So basically, when you type into here, you type what you want, and then you click Save Text, and it should play it. Okay, guys, um, I'm going to test the app now. So we have this, and then um, I have my phone screen here. Uh, as you can see, this is my phone. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to connect your phone to App Inventor. 
So I'm just going to reset the connection here and then go back out of here. And you're going to want to download here. Let's go to Google Play. And you want to download uh, App Inventor. Just search App Inventor. And then you'll see M uh, MIT AI2 Companion. Just click that one, the top one here. And then just download it and open it. And then you should have this. So then you want to go to App Inventor and click Connect and then AI Companion. And you just want to click Scan QR Code. And then go back to App Inventor and scan it. And it should fill it in like that. And technical difficulties here. It was just on there. Let's try this again. Okay, there it is. Alright, so now we're here and we just want to test it. So we're going to do. I'm going to try and do this at the same time and try and get you guys to be able to hear it. So I'm going to type in, hi there, people of YouTube. Alright, and then I'm going to press say text. And, hi there, people of YouTube. I don't know if, how good you guys can hear that, but um, you just press say text and it'll say it. Um, it's a woman's voice. Who cares? Um, you can change. I'm, I think you can change the pitch of it. Um, so if I wanted to go uh, negative 10, I don't know, make it really deep, and then just go over and do hi there. Hi there. Hi there. That didn't really make a difference, but I don't know. I've never really messed with that. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, that was my first introduction to App Inventor. I hope to do more of these. Um, yeah. Let me know if you want me to do an, a whole series on this uh, with different apps, uh, maybe bigger projects, more fun apps, maybe games if you want. Um, just let me know. So thanks, guys. Have a good day.